guess the biggest question I've got is, you know, what drew you to getting involved in Swinner? When I was 15, I was diagnosed with OCD and Tourette's syndrome. I think what really helped is that I had specialist care in London twice a week, but it was nearly a two hour trip there and nearly a two hour trip back and I know that's not even the longest some people will have to do. Inpatient care basically turned around and said, look, there isn't the space, there isn't the care available. And I can't help but think if there had been the correct resources and care in place that it would have been such a mountain to climb in terms of recovery. The entire point of Sawana is to improve the lives of teenagers so they won't have to go through what I went through. I'm the mother of a young person who's got mental health problems, who's been in hospital for more than five years now. At our furthest point, I think we were driving 280 miles each way. There, there's no way you can do that quickly. My name's Stephanie Pomeroy and I'm the fundraising manager for the Serena Appeal. We are trying to fundraise for the icing on cake items that are going to make this unit really stand out from the others. Things like a cafe, sports facilities, art equipment, music equipment, therapeutic and sensory gardens. We really need uh, the community to get behind us. They may know somebody who's been in a unit like this or they may have had mental health issues themselves and they know how important these extra facilities that we want to provide are. I've been involved with some of the fundraising and sit on the stakeholders group as well so I've been able to say a little bit about what we've noticed in other units, what were beneficial and what wasn't so good. So for example there is going to be parents accommodation here which is something that we found very helpful in another unit. My role with Sawena is on the board with the fundraising appeal and then also as an ambassador to really increase the scope and the awareness of what Sawena can offer. My biggest hope for Sawena is just to see people talking about it, being aware of it and schools, adolescent kids all being able to utilise the, the facility in the best way possible. We really want this to be as non-institutional as possible. We want to base it on good relationships with our young people, with our families, with the community. And that's going to be at the heart of everything that we do. My biggest hope is that in 20 years time, we'll have such wonderful community care that there'll be fewer and fewer young people going to hospital. It's like a really progressive step forward. And I think it's a testament to Cornwall that they're getting this amazing new facility. As a founding trustee of the Invictus Trust, we decided eight to nine years ago that we needed to change and challenge mental health, inpatient care and services in Cornwall after the tragedy of losing my twin brother. We have done that. We are delighted that Sawena is going to be opening very shortly and offering age appropriate care to bring back our children to Cornwall so that they can be cared for in their county. My biggest hope for Sawena is that this unit will give young people in our care a positive experience and that's our dream really.